Ryan Little. <laughs> welcome back to my channel my name is Kimberly James and I am back I haven't been on camera in a long long time but today I want to come with a couple tips about going OTR over the road I was over the road recently doing class A now I'm about to do class B work so these are some tips for my class A drivers that I learned over the road so you know when you're over the road number one when you're over the road and you're trying to find parking and you go to the truck stops and there all the parkings are gone all the parking spaces are gone you go to the rest area all the parkings are gone if there is a casino in your area whatever area you in what whatever state you in if there's a casino call the casino ask do they have oversized parking more than likely they're gonna have oversized parking why because they want everybody to come and enjoy themselves they can't discriminate against truck drivers because they have these extra long trucks so if you call them and ask do you have oversized parking more than likely they're gonna say yes and you can park there for tonight and you know chill go in there to casino play a couple games if you want to or you can go to sleep that's number one number two um, you can park on the on and off ramps. Even though it says no parking, you can still park for oversized trucks. I don't know about cars, but oversized trucks. I know you guys be seeing them lined up on the highway, going on the ramp and off the ramp. But Class A truck drivers, you can park on and off the ramp. Also, um, for the showers, that's number three, the showers download the pilot app pilot or loves i can't really speak on loves i just been dealing with pilot so you download the pilot app you go in there you tell them hey i'm a professional truck driver can i get a um, rewards card you will get your rewards card and you will put the number into your phone on your app because they ask for the number so every time you put gas in your truck 50 gallons every 50 gallons that's one shower so if you do a hundred gallons Every time you pull um, diesel in your truck, that's um, two showers. But I would only go to half a tank. So I was putting like 50 gallons in it every time I drove. So I think a half a gallon is like six hours of driving. So I would do a half a gallon. And I'm in a half a gallon. I would do a half a tank. When it gets to a half tank mark, I would fill up. Even if my DEF is not... If it says it's full, I'll still top it off because you never, you just li literally never know. Um, you can, wherever you are on your phone with the Pilot app, you can click for a shower. You can go in there and reserve a shower. You don't got to go to the front. You don't got to talk to nobody. And then they'll give you a code and tell you what shower to go to. Or they'll be like, oh, it's a 10 minute wait or is it this type of wait? And they'll go and, you know, tell you all on your phone. And then... You get four points for every, you can get all the way to four points for every gallon you put in. Like I got to like 2.5 points and that points you can use as money. Like I bought food with these points. I've bought, um, food. Sorry, it's Amazon behind me. I bought food. I bought everything with these points, like $10. My sister told me she had over $100 in points. It is possible. So you your goal is to get to the four points a gallon. And once you get to, I think, 1,000 gallons in one month, yo, every day for that month and next month, your shower is free. So every time you fill up and you use your rewards card, you are just collecting free showers. Because, you know, one shower costs about $13. And that's on a good day. If you get someone that really like vibe with you and they think you handsome or they think you're pretty and they think that you have a good personality or you're nice they'll give you a free shower like i've noticed that but i think being out there i got like one one or two free showers so you know that's not bad um but the ideal is to save as much money as possible so if you're going over the road and If you're going over the road, sorry, I keep just, 
it's too, I'm in my car. It's too much going on in my house. I'm just trying to, you know, stay focused. Download the pilot app. The pilot app is your, your new best friend. Um, you can reserve parking on the pilot app. Basically, anything that you can go in there and talk to customer service about, you can do that on the pilot app. You can find Flying J's and pilots wherever you are. Pilot and Flying J is the same people. So, if you see a, fi a Pilot J, you can still sit there and go to sleep and reserve a shower. You can do all of that just on the Pilot app. It don't matter. Pilot and Flying J is the same people. The same company. So, um, what else? Make sure that you have extra uh, straps for to secure your loads. Because if you don't have straps to secure your load and you get in an accident and that load moves and stuff, you can damage your trailer. So make sure you have straps, extra straps. Also, make sure you have a glad hand lock and a locking pin lock in case you have to leave your trailer somewhere, you can lock your locking pin. I mean, no No one can come up and pull it. No one can come up and tow it. No one can come up and take your trailer because you have the locking pin and the king, the glad hand lock and you have the king pin lock. I bought two just in case, just like literally just I had to leave my trailer somewhere and I had to drop it. So in order for me not to get towed, I made sure I talked to the people I need to talk to at the gas station. Like, hey, don't tow my truck. Don't tow my tractor. I'm, I'm in my trailer. We're going to pick up another trailer, but I just need to leave this here. Also, when you picking up a load, you can call the company. Say you got to pick up the load. Got to be delivered on Monday. No, set. I'm not gonna say because the weekends sometimes they don't they don't be at work. I don't know. Sometimes they are. Sometimes they're not. If you're picking up a load, say you picking up a load on Tuesday. And you know for sure that you're going to get there by Thursday and it's, it's supposed to be delivered by Friday. Don't wait till Friday. You call the shipper and receiving and ask them, can I deliver this load on Thursday? More than likely, they're going to say yes. So you drop that load and you'll be ready for another load. Instead of waiting till Friday and then you know the markets be closed on Saturday and Sunday and you got to wait Monday until you get another load. So the best thing for you to do is Try to get that load there as soon as possible. Don't wait. So if you can get there early, call shipping and receiving. I learned that over the road. I've never been over the road. My advice is to go and explore, man. Like California, Oregon, Seattle, Washington, all those places out there are so freaking beautiful. I'm going to insert some clips here in a minute. And you... Not every day you see beautiful scenes like this. This is the only thing I really enjoy about being a truck driver. You get to witness God's creation. to see exactly what i mean like it is so freaking gorgeous like oregon like i fell in love with oregon and i never been to oregon Alabama. when i went over the road driving for or like going through oregon to get to seattle it was just so gorgeous like it's just so freaking beautiful so i would say i would say go explore 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 there's some clips i'm gonna put some pictures of nevada it's a it's an ocean. I know it's a man-made ocean, but it's a it's an ocean in the middle of Nevada. The middle of the freaking desert. And it is so freaking beautiful. It is just so gorgeous. Don't be afraid to go over the road. I was so afraid to go over the road, do 48 states, driving in the mountains and everything like that. But once you get a like a hang of driving in the mountains, it is so easy. Like it's nothing like going down the mountains. All you gotta do is use your Jake brake. Your trailer, like you have three brakes on your truck. You have your brake brake to, you know, slam on your brake. But you know, they teach you in school not to use your brake. Then you have your trailer brake and then you have the Jake brake. Now, if you don't want to keep using the trailer brake, I mean the Jake brake, you can use that trailer brake. Just pull it down to slow that trailer down. Just 
you know, keep doing that until you slow down. But don't be afraid to drive in the mountain. It's really not as bad as everybody seems. If you do the right speed limit and you're not going 70, 80 miles per hour. Now, trust me, when you're out there, you're going to see these truckers going 80 miles per hour down the highway. Why? Because those are called extreme truckers. Those are perfect professionals now those are the ones that have been doing it for probably 20 30 years and they're just like i don't care this load ain't going nowhere i'm gonna get down this mountain those i call those road runners extreme road runners because that's what they are they're extreme road runners this video is getting too long but i know i'm gonna be doing some editing but on that note what i want to say is get out there don't be afraid you will be just fine. I know I was scared at first, but I put it in God's hands and I went out there and I it was the best decision of my life. It's so peaceful out there. It is so like stress-free. You don't really worry about nothing while you're over the road. I know I didn't. I didn't worry about nothing. I was learning everything I possibly could. Every day, not every day, but I, I'm going back over the road Monday and I'm going to be vlogging and stuff. Me and my husband, we're doing it together. So this is going to be a new experience for both of us. I love to travel. I love to see different things. So this would literally get me in that, since you know COVID and stuff and restrictions on traveling to different countries, this is the time I feel like for me to travel throughout the United States of America, see the country that I like to live in. So um, yeah, it's beautiful. America is beautiful. That's all I can say. America is beautiful, especially on the West Coast. I'm on the East Coast, but on the West Coast, it's so gorgeous. I've never been to New York and stuff like that, but I plan on going up there. But there's this place in Utah, and they got Red Rock. It's so gorgeous. It's called Hole in Wall. You have to go. You literally have to go and see it. It's like breathtaking. It's like everything is breathtaking. That's all I can say. It's breathtaking. So don't be afraid to explore the country. I know you want to go home and stuff like that, but you know this will give you experience to see the country. And get the experience you need. Like, I wish I would have done this three years ago when I got my license. But I was so afraid of... I was fearful. I was so fearful that of the unknown that I hindered myself from going over the road and getting that experience I need. If I would have did it three years ago, I probably would have been, you know, a pro at my job. But I was so afraid and I let that hinder me. And I worked for Warner. I worked for Warner. Warner's a good company and stuff like that, but that's for a different video i'm gonna talk about warner so um on that note i'm gonna have you later i'm gonna make another video about the different companies that i work for and if they're a good choice or not but this was just me telling you to go over the road don't be afraid it's so beautiful out there and you won't regret it but on that note all right do, 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 do.